What's happening, YouTube? It's me, Matt, from A to Z Diecast here, and I've got something new that I wanted to share. Um, so this is one of those things that I was looking around on on eBay and happened to find it, and I'm like, this is cool. Um, saw a couple of these things here and there, and, and you know, I was like, I found a good price, well, I asked. I made an offer, and this was the price that he, the guy accepted. So, and then I thought about it. I'm like, do I really need this? I'm running out of room to display. And then, for those of you who follow me a lot, you know I um, open a lot of my uh, local collectors' stuff that they're opening. And, you know, so I reached out to John. John, I know you're going to watch this video. This is, this was the, uh, the thing that... If I'm not going to keep, I know you're probably going to want. So I guarantee I'm going to get a message from John. Yes, I want this. Uh, so this is, according to the eBay listing, we know this is SpecCast. This is the Birch Engineering FL M2 car hauler. So business class. I don't know what FL is. Oh, Freightliner. Duh. Freightliner. So let's open this bad boy up because this is... A little better than the green lights because this actually works. What do I mean by works? Uh, you know, I don't know exactly how it works because I've never opened one of these. But as you can see, the rollback, the flatbed, is up. So. Tape. So much tape on these things. I get it. Uh, I, uh. Check this out. Ooh. So, before I get into the functioning parts, let's just look at this bad boy's layout. We got Birch Engineering on the side. Great detail for 164 trucks. Um, it's not perfect, but what truck is? I mean, you got a little push down over here, but we got flames, we got the the red lights on top. I would have liked clear lights, but I get it. They're 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 painted silver and then coated red. Sure. So interior wise, we got a steering wheel and we got a dash. If you're one of those customizers and want to make it a little bit more detailed, that's where I would start. But you guys have better minds than I do. Um, wheels roll. This is number one hundred eight. I don't know how many they made. Um, but here is the fun part. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get back here. We got mud flaps that are straight up plastic. Well, look, for diecast.com. I'm going to have to check that website out. Um, it rolls. It comes back. Let's see if I go a little bit out of frame. Look at how far, look at this. And I don't have another car here with me to do that, to put it up. But this goes up, and then it locks in place. Look at that. You see it locked in place? So it's got a little hole there. But even crazier, if you can see this, look. Now, it doesn't really winch. There's no rolling winch, but it's an elastic string. So you can make it look, if you're into setting up dioramas, my fat fingers are having a hard time with this. Look at that. And it's got holes here. So you could probably set something else up. I don't know what those holes are for, but um, this is pretty cool. So you can really set this up and hook this up to a car. And it lock it. I mean, it doesn't lock lock in place, but it's it's there. So like, it won't move when it's like that. But it does fully tilt back up and down. Is there a locking place in here? No. Okay, I was just checking. So you could have this hooked up to a car. You could have this hooked up to 
the bed as it came. But yeah, just a pretty cool uh, little thing. Again, uh, I personally am going to go check out that 4diecast.com and see what we can see on it. But John, most likely this is up for grabs if you want it. Uh, so everyone else, scour your Ebays. Do your searches. You never know what you're going to find for a good price. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the rest of my videos. Peace.